Lindsay Bastola here, and I am here with my dog Lulu that always plays with me in the kitchen while I'm trying to cook. Um, I am going to t give you some tips about making your own salad dressings. Um, one of the biggest frustrations that I honestly didn't even really think that a lot of people had until I started doing grocery store tours. And women would be in the um, salad dressing aisle with me, and they were flustered as to which dressings were the best choices. And the reason why I really didn't know it was because I typically make my own dressings. It's super easy, and you know what you're putting into the dressings. A lot of the stuff that they have on the shelves have preservatives and a lot of chemicals and things, even if they're low calorie. So know what you put in your dressings. So the important thing to know about your salad dressings is there's a couple different components that a salad dressing always has. A fat, which comes in your oil, typically, in, in the form of your oil an acid, which is your vinegar or your lemon or something acidic, and then usually something to offset the taste. So sometimes it'll be something sweet like a honey. So here's a real quick tip. Um, I make my salad dressings in a mason jar. You can get mason jars at your local grocery store. Just ask. They usually sell them in packs. So I make it in the mason jar. I always use extra virgin olive oil. I buy it in a big container and then keep a small um, a can or something next to the stove so it's easy to grab, but you'll save money by buying it in the bigger containers. So I've already put some oil in here. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to tell you amounts because I don't really know it. I just do it to taste, so kind of get experimental with it. So I have my extra virgin olive oil. Um, I usually do like three parts oil to about one part vinegar or whatever your acid is. So I'm going to use, for this one, I'm going to use a white balsamic bunch of different balsamic vinegars. That's another way to change it up. They have different fruit infused vinegars, so that's something you can try. So I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar to it. Just about a, you know, probably three to one is about the ratio. Lemon is also your acid, so if you just want to do olive oil and lemon with salt and pepper, it's a delicious, very simple way to do it. So that's your basis. Um, then what I'm going to do is I add a little bit of honey because then it takes a little bit of the tang out. So just, you know, again, honey, you want to do it to taste. You can, you can do it to taste. Uh, that way you know what you're putting in. Nice, thick honey. Honey's also good to help with uh, local allergies, actually, they find. Um, you can add garlic, herbs, thyme is really good. Chives is also a good thing to add. Just chop it up, throw it in there. I use a little garlic powder just because it's really easy, so I just put a couple, uh, you know, whiffs of the garlic powder. You could add Parmesan cheese. You could add a little bit of Dijon to make it a little creamier. If you want a cream-based uh, dressing, Greek yogurt is the way to go. So you can sort of makeshift your own ranch dressing or a creamy dressing. Add a couple tablespoons of non-fat or low-fat Greek yogurt, um, another great way. So, um, and then always salt and pepper to taste. So I use fresh ground pepper, and then I use kosher or sea salt. Again, always keep it handy. And then you put your top on real tight, and this emulsifies it so that it makes it nice and creamy and you don't have that separation by just putting oil and vinegar. You can kind of see how creamy it gets, and then just taste it. Do it to taste, see if you need to add more salt, add more pepper. It's actually really good. It might need a little bit more sweetness or something, but do it to taste. And then you use what you need for your dressing that you're doing for your salad. Store the rest in the refrigerator. Give it a shake when you're uh, ready to use it again. It's cheaper. It's faster. It's healthier. You can get more creative with your dressings and a good way to spice up those boring salads. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and let me know if you guys have any other tips that you might be able to share about your salads and things you do in the kitchen. So until next time, have a great day, guys. Take care.